What's up, everybody? It's Sal Stefano. Okay, today I'm gonna talk to you about one of the most neglected body parts in gyms across the world, the forearms and the grip. Now this is crazy because your grip connects you to the world. If you can't hold on to it, you simply can't lift it. Now I wrote a very popular guide on how to get bigger arms a while ago. Lots of people downloaded it, but the guide only talked about biceps and triceps. In fact, at the end of the video, I'll show you a link where you can download that. But in today's video, we're going to talk about the other part of the upper of the arm, the forearms. We're going to talk about the top of the forearms, the bottom of the forearms, and of course, in a vice-like grip. So let's get into the video. All right, so there's four categories of exercises that I'm going to show you today. The first category, priming exercises. Now, priming gets your muscles ready for the hard workouts. It's real important to prime before you do the heavy lifting. Now, the second category are static strength exercises. Now, static strength is when you grab something and just hold on to it. Of course, it's very important for exercises like deadlifts. The third category are hypertrophy exercises. Now, hypertrophy just means muscle growth. So these are mass building exercises. And the fourth category are specialty exercises borrowed from some of the athletes with the strongest grips known to man, arm wrestlers and judo and jujitsu fighters. All right, so the first movement is a priming movement. Now priming is much better than a warm up. It gets your muscles ready for the workout that is ahead. The other good thing about priming is you could do this much more frequently. So this movement right here I'm about to show you, you can actually do every single day. Super awesome exercise, very, very basic. All you need is some rice, and a bucket. Now what you're gonna do with this movement is you're gonna stick your hand inside the rice and you're gonna move, open your fingers and close your fingers, really working all the muscles of the fingers and the forearms. And you should do this for about 30 seconds. You will feel some of the muscles of the forearms start to burn. You might even get a little bit of a pump, but what a great exercise to set you up. Now I borrowed this exercise from old Kung Fu masters. Believe it or not, they used to do versions of this exercise on a daily basis to toughen up their fingers and their hands. You're gonna like this one. So this next exercise is known as a pinch grip plate hold. Okay, what that means is I'm gonna grab it with my hands like this and I'm gonna hold it, which is very different than holding a bar. Practicing these different types of grips are gonna give you much more well-rounded static strength. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a couple plates that are relatively smooth. You're gonna squat down. You wanna pick them up with a pinch grip, meaning my fingers stay flat. You wanna stand up and you basically wanna hold for almost as long as you can. You don't wanna to go to failure when you feel like you maybe have five or 10 seconds left. Bring them down, rest for about 30 seconds to a minute and then do it again. All right, so this next exercise is one of my favorite muscle building exercises of the forearm flexors. That's this part of the forearm. Now it's a great muscle builder because it works you through a full range of motion. It's a behind the back finger wrist curl. Now I say finger wrist curl because I'm gonna let the bar roll down my fingers, come up and then do the forearm curl. Now this is what it looks like from the front and then we'll show you from the back. You're gonna pick up the barbell, it's gonna be behind the back. I'm gonna let the barbell come down my fingers, and then I'm gonna squeeze my grip and roll all the way up. So when you're doing this movement, you want your thumb underneath the bar. Let the bar roll down your fingertips, squeeze your grip, and then curl your forearms as hard as you can. Let the bar roll back down, all the way down the fingertips, squeeze and come up with the forearms. The tempo you see me doing in this video is the tempo that you wanna follow. Nice and controlled with a slight squeeze at the top. All right, so this next exercise is another mass building movement. This one's good for the top of the forearms. So all the muscles that work the forearm extenders and what's known as the brachioradialis muscle, which is right here on top of the forearm. Now you're gonna grab an easy curl bar that makes this exercise a little bit more comfortable. Now, rather than taking your typical underhand grip, you wanna go with an overhand grip and you wanna do a thumbless grip. Start at the bottom, elbows pinned at your sides. It's really important that you keep your elbows pinned at your side. Nice tall posture. Now you do what's called a reverse curl. You come up to the top, hold, and then come down real controlled. This is a lot more difficult than it looks. A lot of you will find that you can't use nearly as much weight as you do when you do a traditional curl. But boy, does it work the top of the forearms. 
Now, some of the athletes with the strongest grips in the world are judo and jujitsu fighters. Now, this exercise I learned when I used to train jujitsu years ago. It's a phenomenal exercise, but the carryover is massive. It, you get such a phenomenally strong grip from using a gi with a lot of your pulling exercises. So here I'm gonna demonstrate a pull-up using a gi. Now, all I did was I took a gi, a jujitsu gi, and I put it over the pull-up bar. And I'm gonna take a, a gi grip here at the, at the collar. So I'm gonna grab it with my hands nice and tight. This exercise can be kind of gnarly. And I'm gonna do some pull-ups. So I'm gonna grab the gi, I'm gonna let my body hang, pull my body up, and then go right back down. Now the other athletes with incredibly strong forearms are arm wrestlers. I borrowed this next exercise from them. So what you wanna do is get yourself either a resistance band or a belt, put it around a couple weights, and we're gonna do what's called pronation. So I'm gonna start with my palm up, gripping the band, keeping myself tight, and then I'm gonna roll my forearm, twist my hand, and let it come back down. Notice how the band is on the outside of my hand. That's what's giving me the resistance. Again, you're gonna hold static, and then you're gonna rotate the hand and let it come right back down with nice control. All right, so the quintessential static strength grip exercise is known as the farmer's walk. Now what you do with this movement is you grab yourself a pair of heavy dumbbells, you stand up tall with it, hold on to those dumbbells, and then walk. Now this is a very effective exercise because you're moving while controlling your grip, which simulates real life more than just standing and holding away. So you're gonna pick up the dumbbells, you wanna stand up nice and tall, nice tight grip, and you just wanna walk forward. Tall, straight posture. Now we're not trying to go to failure. Again, you wanna hold these until you think you have about five to 10 seconds left, and then you stop the exercise. All right, so I just showed you some awesome forearm exercises. Now here's how you wanna do them. You wanna train your forearms between two to four days a week. Always do the priming movement at the beginning of your workout. Then pick about two to three exercises. Now for the priming, prime each hand for about 30 to 60 seconds. Just do that one time before you get into your workout. Now the muscle building exercises aim for about eight to 12 reps. Do about three sets. Make sure you rest about 30 to 60, maybe even 90 seconds in between sets. As far as the static uh, strength exercises, the holds, do those for at least 30 seconds. So pick a weight that lets you hold for at least 30 seconds. And remember, don't go to failure on any of the exercises. You wanna stop about two reps before failure or about five to 10 seconds before failure. Now, if you want big muscular forearms, you're probably also interested in getting nice biceps, triceps. You want nice arms. I wrote a big arms guide that helps cover those two muscles. So check that one out in the description below. There's a link, click on it, download it. It's totally free. Also, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below and share this video with your friends.